Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. I'm going to shoot an extremely interesting video for you today. What you see here is a wireless baby monitor. I have the name of the company covered up with a piece of paper. So what I would like to show you first of all is here is our acoustometer and there's absolutely no radiation in this house at all, no wireless radiation. It is turned on. Sorry for the shaky video, I only have two hands here. I turned it off. And you can see it's on. No wireless radiation in this house at all. My office is over there. No wireless internet, no wireless printer. Everything is hardwired. So again, you can see there's no measurements on the acoustometer at all. And I would like to have you make note of this. This is very, very important. Please make note of it before we proceed further with this video. The 17 or 21 scientists, I forgot how many it was, but there's a number of world scientists did clinical research on the effects of wireless radiation and they compiled the Bioinitiative Report 2012. You can go to the website bioinitiative.org and they summarized that detrimental biological effects from microwave radiation exposure started at about 3.4 to 6 microwatts per square meter average power density and on the acoustometer you can see on the right side of the meter here this is average power density being measured in microwatts per square meter and 3.4 microwatts per square meter is way down near the bottom of the meter here so please take note of what I'm telling you before we take measurements here and show you the reality that we're dealing with with wireless baby monitors. Now, that is the average power density. On the left side of the meter, it measures peak signal strength in volts per meter. Professional building biologists consider the peak signal strength, which is the highest measurements that you get when you're taking measurements, to be 30 to 40 times more detrimental than the average power density or the average measure measurements. Alright, so let's take note of that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in this baby monitor. Sorry about that, I needed to turn the volume down. So, let's take a look at the average power density. Compare it to what the building biology, compare it to, I'm sorry, what the Bioinitiative report suggests at 3.4 microwatts per square meter being precautionary, which is down here. Look where the meter is. Now, the peak signal strength is pushing the meter over its capacity. This is the part this is the part of the meter that the parents would have in another room. All right. This is set up in my kitchen right here. I'm going to walk into another part of the house. Now I'm here by the front door. Quite a distance from the monitor, which you see all the way over there.
and you can still see the measurements on the meter. I'm going to go into another room here. This is an entire wall away and note the measurements on the meter. Peak signal strength on the left, average power density on the right. I can even walk out the front door here I haven't closed the door behind me and I'm on the front porch and you'll notice the readings Notice the readings on the meter as we get closer to the monitor. And I'm going to unplug it. It's very difficult with only two hands here. Notice the meter. And now the meter is still turned on and absolutely no wireless radiation in the house. So you can make your own considerations and have your own thoughts about the safety of using a wireless baby monitor in one's home. Thank you for watching.